She came in with the complaint of the rabbit having not groomed herself so that the hair is all not uh, not uh, what the comb not not properly uh, uh, not 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 uh, as in a normal rabbit a normal rabbit when they groom the hair when they groom themselves the the hair is all very even okay let's see the front let go of your hand you see the front here there okay so what what we did was uh, we checked the rabbit and uh, we found that okay we open uh, below there's a urine scalding urine scalding and uh, you will see the other video this whole area was really very yellow with urine stains and the whole feet also was very yellow with the urine stains and of course now it's much better after the bath okay how do you bathe it put in a bowl yeah we put in a in a bowl. basin mm. not in a basin in the bedroom and then put a bit of the soap inside mm. and then uh, we put the uh, warm water wa uh, lower body into the water and then we rub after rub. that we rinse with the warm water again mm. so try to remove as much of the urine stain as possible okay so now we, we will brush the away the loose hair you see you can see that the rabbit has not uh, Okay, let's stand properly first. Okay, uh. much of the hair has been cut off, but now we just take away the the loose hair. Okay, so do do a uh, step by step, left to right, uh, left to right. If but if not, then do one side first. Do one side. After that, the rabbit should be able to do herself. After we have given uh, antib antibiotics and painkillers, now the, the reason why the rabbit has this urine, urinary tract infection is most likely what happened is the, the bigger rabbit, there's a bigger rabbit called chestnut, keeps going on top of her, humping I call it. Huh? And many, many, many times th there was no problem. Yeah. So I told the owner that uh, Probably the the bigger rabbit has has uh, injured her lower parts, uh, lower body, and so she had this urinary tract infection due to leaking, leaking. So now we we will groom, we will try and get rid of all the all the loose hair that go like that against the against the uh, the. the Direction of the hair growth, yeah. Okay. So we do one side first, and then we do the lo the lower half, and then after that we go to the front half. Then uh, the rabbit will feel better. Okay. Let let's stand up then. Stand up properly. Uh, hold the front. Yeah. Rabbit will feel better after we have un un untangled the loose hairs. Okay. Do it systematically. Left, finish, and then right. Yeah. The owner complained a lot of hair loss as well. When the rabbit is, is healthy, she should be able to do her own grooming. Okay. So the back is finished. So basically the rabbit has urinary incontinence and the urine has got uh, stained her backside and also the lower legs, lower back legs. The front legs are okay. Okay, so you hold the backside, you hold the backside so that she can continue. Okay, come and do the front and the neck here. Yeah. Now, rabbit grooming is also another specialty of this uh, rabbit groomers, yeah. and. Uh, some owners they can't do it, so they send it to the groomer, the rabbit groomer. It's not a dog groomer, so the dog groomer may not know how to brush and comb. Finish that side first, and then we come to this side. And then after that, we go to the ventral side. 
to pull out the hair, pull out the... See, this is a lot of this. Uh, this is what the, the owner can complain. Yeah. That the rabbit looks, the coat looks not uh, tidy, uh, untidy coat. Yeah. Okay, finish. Then we we'll go below already. The neck. Done. Okay, you still got a lot of loose hair still. Below the neck. Okay, so go upside down. We check the chest. Let, uh, let, let her do the armpits and. Okay, uh, hold, 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 hold the armpits, hold the armpits. This rabbit is a bit nervous, yeah. Hold the armpit. There's no point talking to the rabbit, rabbit really seldom. Just hold firmly, yeah. Hold firmly, okay. So once you remove the loose undercoat, then she will look tidier, yeah. Especially the neck and armpits. The rabbit is sick, she doesn't groom, groom herself. But the owner does not know how to do it. Okay, below the neck, the chin, below. Uh, pull up the head a bit. Is it possible? Mm. Uh, armpits, yeah. Armpit here. Mm. So there should be no more loose hair. After we do this, yeah. So we are giving antibiotics and painkillers, and uh, the rabbit should be much better. Is it finished? Yep. It's actually the lower part here, yeah. Normally the rabbit can do it herself, yeah. Okay, let's, let's stand, stand up now, standing. Now this one is no more stain, huh? yeah. This lower part here. Still got a lot of hair, take out, take out the hair, loose hair, any, any loose hair. Still a lot, still a lot. So we, we do until we, we don't get any more of this. But do it faster a bit, yeah. Not too slow. In case the rabbit jumps up. Yeah. Okay, finish, then okay, they stand. Stand up. Yeah. We, we do the back side. Done, all done, right? Here. Get rid of the loose hair. Yeah. Okay, so the back side is the one more important because of the rabbit use urination and stools. Yeah. Still a lot of loose hair. Put your hand under the tummy. You put your hand under the tummy to elevate the the backs up back up a bit. Elevate up the front with down. The front will be down. Uh, uh, correct, correct. So that the more important is below. Yeah. Okay. Now this will be painful. Yeah. Now all the loose hairs. Yeah. See your comb? Any more? Take out the loose hair. See any more loose hair? No more. Okay, no more. And then we just see. I shall stop now, yeah. So you should be going home.